of news, a very interesting one as well. You may have heard already, but we will bring it to you now. There will be fans at the grand final of the 2020 Ooh. League of Legends World Championship. Very surprising for some. Uh, this will happen at Pudong Stadium. This is going to be the first sporting event to happen at the newly created Pudong Stadium in Shanghai. Uh, the capacity is over 33,000, but uh, as reported by a couple of people online, including Ashley Kang, uh, we very much respect her, obviously. Uh, 6,312 is the number that is apparently being reported for the number of fans, a maximum of, that will be able to attend for free via a raffle draw. So mm. there's going to be, and actually we reached out to Riot. Uh, they, I was able to get a response. Uh, the number is not confirmed yet, mm. but they did tell me that there is a strict level of safety and health protocols mm. that will be put in place with guidance from various global and local health agencies. Among other things, all audience members mm. will have their body temperature checked multiple times, be required mm. to wear a mask during the final, and be subject to additional safety protocols. So... This is uh, very encouraging and also uh, very interesting that we're going to get a fan experience, Tyler, especially for us watching at home. But we're going to get fans. We're going to get cheering. And it's going to mm. be it's going to be surreal in a way because we're used to that in previous world championships. <laughs> but I mean, it's been months mm. since we've actually heard that at a professional League of Legends contest. It's awesome. I'm happy. I'm ecstatic. Uh, I think uh, Riot has shown they've already done such a great job with the bubble and the protocols there. And, you know, Shanghai is not a hot spot currently compared to other parts of the world. So I do feel like the fans coming into it aren't, isn't, you know, some kind of time is, it's not kind of some crazy ambitious plan that some other regions have tried to do with, with their traditional sports scene and allowing fans in. So I think it's safe enough and I think it's going to bring a, an elevated uh, an elevated factor to the World Championship final that it desperately needs. And obviously with the opening ceremony and, you know, KDA's new new single being, you know, uh, released there and I'm sure they'll play TakeOver. I'm, I'm super excited. Worlds, World Finals are the greatest uh, spectacles in all of esports. I've been to four of them. They're awesome. They are they're once in a lifetime opportunities. If you ever have a chance to go to one, I would implore you to go there, even if it's the worst final ever. And I've been to some stinker of some finals, some O and threes. Fanagra's IG was god awful, but the opening ceremony and the atmosphere and the just the joy and like. The feeling of being at a world final is unmatched in any other esport. So it, it, it's great. And I'm, I'm very excited to see how, how, what kind of final we have. And, and I just want, I'm just happy for the fans. And I think the craziest thing is if this was an open market and it wasn't a, a, a raffle, these tickets, I would think, could, if an LPL team made the final, these tickets could go for five to $10,000. Like USD, like, like easily, like five to $10,000 USD. You know, the other like, thing I was thinking of, well, actually, that's a very good point. Like, and if there's an aftermarket, I guess there, there must be some way that Riot is controlling. This, oh, yeah, right? definitely. So there's no aftermarket. Like, there's oh, no yeah. bots, you know, entering a raffle oh, yeah. in some system. I'm sure Riot has that under control. You know what else I was thinking, though, was mm -hmm. basically if an LPL, if only one LPL team makes it. Mm -hmm. So if it's an LCK or LEC team that makes the mm -hmm. final, it's going to be a home game for the LPL. Because yeah. no other teams will be able to, or uh, uh, sorry, no other fans will be able to travel. So presumably it's going to be LPL fans that will mm. be attending the final and they'll be cheering for whatever LPL team it is. So it's going to be a home game for them in a way. Whereas mm. before with all the traveling people around the world, it may have been at least some sort of split. This could be a hundred percent LPL mm. fan centric final. Yeah. I mean, as someone who was there in 2018 for the IG Fnatic final, I can tell you that uh, that final was pretty much all Chinese fans as well. So Chinese fans travel quite well in the Legends Order. So I do agree with you. It's going to be 100% Chinese fans if an LPL team is in the final. I do think playing in China, playing for a championship, because China's won now in Europe and South Korea, but they've never hoisted the Summer's Cup in China. I do, th I do think that that LPL teams, if they make the final, and if it is against, you know, a G2 or a, a Damwon, I do think there's added pressure that you are trying to lift the cup in the first time at home in China after such a terrible last year. I do think, like, all these teams are going to want to be the one who can be the heroes to lift the Summer's Cup for the first time in Shanghai. So I, I'm very excited for the finals. This, this, this ups my excitement, like, double-fold. Uh, the, the fans – bring so much to the world championships as someone who's been to various ones around the world. And again, 2021, uh, 2022, 2023, wherever the world championship finals are, are held. I implore you, if you have the money and you have the, the, 
the 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 luxury to actually go to one of these events, the one of the world finals, please go. If you're a huge fan and you have the money to do so and you can actually, you know, don't don't waste the money if you're a poor college student, but if you have a job and you can save up and actually go to one of these finals, do it. Do it. No, no, no. It, waste that way... money. No! Waste the money. Oh, no. Oh, stop it. Use no. your entire tuition and go to Worlds and buy uh, a ticket front row. Spend everything. Go to Worlds. Oh, uh, this, totally this, this is why NA is so <laughs> trash at, at eSports. This this kind of decision-making is why NA <laughs> fails year after year at Worlds, Arda. Oh, oh, people. Oh, oh, you have $80 <laughs> in your banking account why not just max out all your credit cards and go to china on a whim That's for a right. world go into final. debt yes. go into, max out your credit cards take out a loan <laughs> whatever you gotta do go to worlds oh yeah this is why na will fail forever this this is the mindset of north american league of legends right here fellas this is why we fail please Please go to esports percent responsibly, and uh, but yes, worlds are, world files are great. World files By are the great. Way, uh, Sirius has a good point. I'm here for life advice. I give Zoom uh, hour long Zoom calls. Only cost five hundred per <laughs> hour. I'll gladly <laughs> give you life advice. Nah.